Wolfpack, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for tuning in for this review. What I have here is a sleeping bag liner from Corinthia. If you have seen my reviews of other Corinthia products, you know that I'm a fan of this company. They make excellent tactical products, sleeping bags, clothing, and so much more. With these Corinthia products, they are hard to find in the United States, but luckily I've found a site where I can easily get these products imported. That's militaryshop.iv. That is a great site. The prices are super fair, and that's where I got this. Anyways, what I have here is the Grizzly Sleeping Bag Liner. And today, I'm going over the pros and cons, and my thoughts and my experiences with it. With the liner, this is what you receive. You receive the storage bag, the stuff sack. You do have a handle right here, so you can easily pull the liner out of the bag itself. There are no compression straps, but you do have a draw pull here at the top. The form factor is very small. That's rolled up, but it's not as tight as it could be. It could be quite a bit smaller, if desired. Here's the liner all stretched out, folks. You can see that it features a mummy cut. And when it comes to the measurements, you're looking at approximately 88 and a half inches long. And it has a width of approximately 35 inches. That's up at the top. It does taper down, and it goes to roughly 23 inches. With the measurements that I've given, those are approximate, and that's because this material is stretchy. So you can stretch it as far as length and width goes. The main material for this sleeping bag liner is a mid-weight fleece. You can see the gray material, that's the zipper, and it goes from the foot box all the way up to the top. That's on the left side of the sleeping bag liner. When it comes to the colors of these, you could find these in two, olive green and black. The black version is super hard to find. The olive one, you could find this just about everywhere, but the black one, that's rare. The overall pack size of this, once it's all rolled up, is six and a half inches by eight inches. Of course, there's no compression strap on that stuff bag, so it can go smaller. It can be smaller. And you could take rubber bands or maybe like a Velcro strap and hunker it down. The weight of the liner is 1.2 pounds, and that includes the storage bag. So all in all, this is a very light system here. When using this product in conjunction with a sleeping bag, it will add roughly nine degrees to that system. The cheapest price that I could find for this liner is at the militaryshop.iv where I got it. The price of this, $68. And with that being said, you need to know that Corinthia offers two different sleeping bag liners. They have a polyester cotton liner that is very much different than this. It is less expensive, it's not as warm, it's more of like a sheet. This is fleece, this is quite a bit warmer, this is also just a little bit more expensive. Taking a moment to talk about my experiences with this product, I have been testing this out throughout the summer and now going into the fall. The warmest temperature at nighttime while using this was roughly 65 degrees. The coolest temperature so far has been roughly 36. And with my use, I have used this in a number of different ways. I've used it in conjunction with down blankets, with poncho liners, sleeping bags, and even by itself. Without a doubt, this is a very versatile product, and I will continue to test this out as we go into the winter months. If I have to, I will do a supplemental video if additional information needs to be presented. Now everyone, let's go over my pros and cons for this product, starting with the pros. Now these are based upon, I mean, countless nights of use, again, from roughly 65 degrees all the way down to roughly 34. So this is warm, there's no doubt about it. This fleece liner, is very warm. It does add roughly nine degrees to your sleep system. So you can easily do combinations with other products and extend the temperature range. For an example, I camped out in one trip. The temperature got down to roughly 48 degrees. I used this and a very thin down blanket in extremely windy conditions and I was very warm, very comfortable. Without a doubt, this is a very warm product that you can use throughout the summer months and you can use it by itself. With my experiences and for myself, once the temperatures hit roughly 50 degrees, that's when I noticed that I was beginning to get a little bit chilly. So I needed an additional insulation layer. A poncho liner makes an awesome addition to this kit and you can easily go into the 40s. Now, of course, everyone, that is subjective because everybody's different. I run warm, some people run cold, that's how it goes. So. What you add to this needs to be tested out thoroughly before you go out. You don't want to put yourself in a dangerous situation where you're getting really cold at night. Of course, I don't have to tell you all that because that's just common sense. But anyways, the quality of this liner is excellent. The durability of this product so far has been excellent. I've used this maybe 20 times and I've had no issues with it. The fleece itself is in excellent condition still. There's no loose threads or anything like that. The stuff sack is excellent. The draw pull at the top is also excellent. You can pull this nice and tight around you if you need to, or you can open it up. Speaking of that, you have the long zipper that goes along the left side here 
So you can use this as a blanket, and on those hot summer nights, you will be appreciative that you can do that. The zipper is very smooth. The price of this, in my opinion, is very fair. 68 bucks for this liner is not a bad price. Sip it back liners can be rather expensive. Considering that this one is from Corinthia, that's an amazing deal. When it comes to their sleeping bags, their liners, their prices are super fair. When it comes to their clothing, they can be incredibly expensive. Anyways, I'm getting off point here. The next pro is a biggie, comfort. This is a very comfortable liner to use. The inside, the material feels great. The outside, it feels great. So having this against your skin feels very good. There's no scratchy points on the inside that you will notice while you're tossing and turning in this at nighttime. The last pro that I have for this is something that I've touched upon already, versatility. For a very low price, you can easily come up with a kit that's not only lightweight, but also very inexpensive. For an example, you can pair this with a down blanket and you'll pay roughly 120 bucks and that's for both components. And you can easily go into the 40s. And that's a lightweight kit, that's only roughly two pounds. So you can easily see here just how versatile this piece of kit is. Now let's go over to the cons because there are a few to mention. First off, and most importantly, is size. This is available in one size and one size only, so pay close attention to the measurements. Is this going to be big enough for you? The next con that I have for this is that you cannot choose which side the zipper is going to be on. So depending on the sleeping bag that you're using in conjunction with this, it may have a zipper on the right side, but then you have the zipper on the left side for this. So it would be nice to be able to choose. Really folks, that's a very small con, but it does need to be mentioned. So those are the pros and cons that I have for this liner. Ultimately, do I recommend this? Yes, I can give this a thumbs up. This is a terrific product. Very versatile, lightweight, warm. I'm curious to hear from you all. How would you use it? In what ways, and what conjunctions would you use it? I appreciate you all very much for tuning in. Make sure, again, to sound off in the comment section down below. What do you all think about this? This is a good piece of kit, and I'm looking forward to using it when it really gets cold here in the mountains. Oh yeah, in a nice good snowstorm, I can't wait. Speaking of using this, I have used this in many adventures that you all have seen here on the channel. I believe I've talked about this in at least two adventures that I've gone on. With all of the products that I test out, I wanna show you all me using those products. With the channel here, I use every single product. I don't do mailbox reviews or anything like that. Everything that I state is based upon real world information and use. So yeah, if you like that sort of thing, hit the thumbs up. You can also support the channel here on YouTube or on Patreon. You could join the Wolf Pack. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell products and that's that. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>